the last uh, video tutorial, we kind of just briefly looked at the, the integrated development environment and we didn't really go into so much details. The next couple of lessons we're going to talk about uh, go into detail about how to edit uh, in, the, in the, uh, the, the IDE and also at this one we look at the help files. Um, particularly the, the help files are all located over here, there's a, a general user's guide in here um, and all you need to do is just double click on the, the item and it takes you to the welcome page. Uh, there's a little introduction to the, the integrated development environment that takes you through uh, programs and, and how to uh, edit it and so on, which is a really good uh, good one. We're not going to go completely into the details of that, but it, it, go, it does go through and, and sort of uh, show you the sort of most common things that you can do with it. Um, but there's also uh, a language uh, tutorials in here as well, so you can take it onto here. Uh, it does have hyperlinks as well, so it's pretty much just a standard HTML document, and you can click on, like for example, basic there. We can find out all about basic compatibility. Um, we can uh, scroll down there, and then we can see. Okay, we can click on functions, and it takes us to uh, how to create functions in there. But if I just close that one there, and we click on modules scroll right down and we'll get to this one down here which is index and you'll see in there that there's a list of all the commands uh, that Blitzmax has contained within it so for example if you want to find out let's scroll down here and we'll go to where we go to uh, we're going to go to print which you can find it print there we go so we'll double click on print and it comes up and it tells you what the function for print does. So uh, it gives an example there, which is use the print command to output Blitzmax strings, hello world. And if we click on this, look at that, it opens up in a new window and you can see the editor and it's exactly what it says inside here as well. Okay, so it just copies the text right there and all you need to do to run it is click on this icon here, build and run and it takes a couple of seconds to link and it's linking, it's linking my computer is very slow tonight and it's executing and you can see there you go it's printed hello world inside what's called the console window this is the, the output or console window okay so there's a the print functionality there uh, it also contains uh, just close this twisty thing down here a list of projects and inside projects Close these just now. We don't really need them. Uh, there's a there are ones called samples, and for example, there is one down here called the teapot test. And these samples are all supplied when you download and uh, when you purchase um, Blitzmax from the, the website. So just double click teapot test dot bmx. Uh, all the files end in bmx, uh, and you'll see that it contains a whole bunch of text. This text here is called source code and in the next couple of tutorials we're going to show you how to edit source code and how to actually start uh, writing Blitzmax applications. But for right now I'm going to show you kind of what Blitzmax can do. I mean this is just a kind of taster of, of what, what uh, you, you will be able to do uh, hopefully by the end of this tutorial and the uh, previous and the next tutorial and a few other tutorials from now on. But uh, but it just gives us a glimpse into the future as, as to what can be, be achieved uh, with this wonderful programming language um, from Blitz Research. So it's just linking, executing, and here we go, just drag that in there. And you can see that we now have the, I think it's called the Utah Teapot, uh, just the standard OpenGL teapot floating uh, in the screen there. Okay, so next time we're going to have a look at how to edit um, load and save uh, source code files and then once we've done that we're going to start on the actual language proper itself. So until next time, thank you.